Hey everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and today we're doing a real quick tip video on if your RV emergency start switch isn't working, this is probably gonna be your culprit. So this is just a tip for you. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna be your solenoid. And so the way this works is you have your house battery that runs your RV and your chassis battery that starts your RV engine. And if you get into a jam where your RV engine battery, your chassis battery is a little too low to start your engine, you can hit that emergency start switch and that's gonna send power to a solenoid that sends up a bar that connects both batteries together, your house and your chassis, and that's going to give you enough power to start your car. Um, nine times out of 10, that solenoid is gonna be bad and that's what you need to replace. If you wanna check, a really easy way to do that is just by opening up the hood, trying to locate the solenoid, which looks like this, and then having a friend or whoever uh, hit the switch. A lot of times you can hear it from inside the RV. When you hit that switch, you're gonna hear a click, and it's pretty loud, very audible. And that's the click of the solenoid snapping into place, connecting those two batteries. If you don't hear a click, it could be your switch wiring or more than likely the solenoid. I'll take you out to a really short video where I mess with it and show you the uh, voltages and you can hear the click and see the solenoid, it's real short, and I'll take you out there right now. Okay, so we're using a multimeter here and you can tell that we do have current coming in from our house batteries. They're lithium, they're 14.51 volts. Now the switch is on, the emergency switch is currently turned on, and so you can see that we do have current coming to that from the switch and we did not hear a click. Now we're gonna turn the emergency start button off and we are still not gonna hear a click, but our voltage will drop to zero, showing that our switch is good. So our switch is good, no click, we know it's a solenoid, we're gonna replace it. Now let's check out the, uh, hold on. Now let's check out the difference here. We have continuity. And now, uh, okay, go ahead and hit it. Turn it off. So as you can hear, you can hear the solenoid actually working. So hit it again and turn it off. So now we know we're actually working and everything's working a lot better. And if you'll notice right here, that's the battery, uh, the uh, chassis battery right here. That's the voltage here. And up top on our battery isolator, that's the voltage of our lithiums. So our house batteries, okay? So down here, this is our chassis battery. And now I'm gonna have her hit that toggle switch again and we'll see that voltage go up because the, you know, the uh, house batteries have a much higher voltage than the uh, lead acid chassis battery. Hit it and turn it off. So there you go. Now our emergency start button is working correctly. Well, there you go, guys. Pretty simple. Um, in order to replace one of these, I didn't record myself doing it, but it's really easy, you guys. Take a picture with your smartphone so you know where all the wires went to the original. Disconnect the house battery and the chassis battery. That way, if you touch a wire to something, you're not going to blow a fuse that you have to track down. Disconnect the batteries. You have your picture. Uh, it's usually just two bolts or screws that go to your RV engine compartment. You take those off, you put the new one on, and you wire the wires in exactly the same way as the old one was wired. So very simple. I think you guys can handle that. But this video at least lets you know probably where to look and listen for the click and kind of diagnose whether it's uh, that solenoid or maybe a switch or a wiring problem. Probably the solenoid. So um, once you get to that done, you're gonna be good to go for a long time and you shouldn't have any more problems after that. Uh, I do have another video that explains what an RV emergency start button is and also one for tips and tricks and things I did to make mine a little more user friendly and I will put links to those up top as well. Amazon link down below that'll take you over to emergency start solenoids and then you can just type in your year, make and model on Amazon and hopefully it'll find one that's gonna work for you. So I'll put that in the link in the description below as well. I think that about wraps it up. If this helped, please like, share, subscribe. My name is Jim with Fullwood Adventure Club, and until the next video, thank you so much for watching, and happy camping.